Hello everyone, welcome back to Make the Music, and today I'm finally doing my video on how do I do all those tone match videos, or how, how specifically how do I match the tones from these songs, and well it's a process I've kind of perfected, as I've done like way more tones than I've actually posted, because the, the videos take a little bit of effort, but I've probably matched hundreds of tones at this point, and I understand the, the bias algorithm pretty well at this point to uh, match the tones for yeah basically anything I want now there's kind of three levels of difficulty when it comes to tone matching so I'll kind of take you through that this will just kind of cover basically level one and two um, I might do another video on how to get tones that well the stems are not easily accessible or like you can't hear the guitar by itself there is a bit of a workaround but it's much harder it requires a lot more effort but I'm just sort of going over the the easier approach uh, to, to doing this so if you like these videos, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos weekly on how to record, mix, produce your own music. Uh, it's good stuff. So please do that down below. Now let's get into this video. So here's what you're going to want to do. Let's say you're following along. Um, right here, I have Bias Amp 2 and I have Bias FX2 pulled up. They're both muted right now. So you don't have to hear the tones ringing out, obviously. First, you want to find out what tone you're trying to match. And so for this example, I'm just going to assume that I want to match the self-titled tone uh, from the Avenged Sevenfold album. Okay, I've done this one before, uh, but let's just say that's the one you want to do. Now, on the album, I have YouTube Music pulled up. There's not a distinguishable place for me where the guitar plays by itself. Maybe on Afterlife, there's a spot where it plays by itself. Okay, right there, the guitar plays by itself. So, what you need to do is find a spot on the album, song, whatever, where the guitar plays by itself. And you're gonna to wanna to screen capture that or record that somehow and get that as a WAV file. Now you can do that by just finding a spot in the song where the guitar plays by itself, or you can find a stem online. For example, this one here. This is the guitar playing by itself, easy, right? What you wanna do is capture a riff that kinda of epitomizes the guitar tone. Don't capture a weird random lead or a clean sound, right? So this is a, pretty, this is a, a riff from Afterlife, right? definitely epitomizes the tone. So record that screen capture it. I think 10 seconds is a good mark. Bias amp doesn't like it if you have it over 20 seconds or under two seconds. So you gotta stay within that threshold. But I found that going over like eight or nine seconds doesn't help you get a more accurate tone. It just actually makes it harder for the software to kind of uh, model what it's after. So 10 seconds is good. Capture 10 seconds of your tone either from the album or from the stem. Now, if there's no album, part where the guitar plays by itself or a stem there is a workaround i'm not going to cover that in this video because it's actually pretty complicated it involves using uh some other software and stuff i'll cover that in a future video but i'm assuming 99 percent of the cases this is what you're going to have to do so let's say you've screen captured it let's say it's now a wave file for example here i have in my tone match folder uh avenge sevenfold right here i have a wave file it this is 20 seconds long I don't know why I decided to make it 20 seconds. Maybe I edited it down, but it's 20 seconds long. Now we can match the tone in Bias Amp 2. So I have Bias Amp 2 pulled up. The other day I was matching the Nightmare tone, okay? But let's say we're matching a new tone. You don't have to unmute yet or anything. Let's go to Restart Amp Match. Go start a new amp match uh, preset. You can rematch one, but that's just gonna rematch it to a different guitar. So start a new amp match preset. You have a solo guitar track, right? Because we're matching album tones. You can match your amp, but I, I never do that. So I have a solo guitar track. Next. Now we're going to browse for that file that we just had. So I'm going to close that out. Go to my music. Um, and I have the tone match folder right here. Uh, Avenge sevenfold. That should be right here. Boom. And we're ready to go. And then click start capture. And it's going to start capturing that file or modeling it for you. So this is this is the biggest chunk of the work that is, is a little a little bit more work to go actually to getting the tone completely dialed in. There's some tweaking you have to do. Bias Amp 2 is pretty solid. Um, you know, for what it's doing, it's pretty cool. And it's not a Kemper word that costs like $3,000 to model your tones or an Axe FX or something. For the, for the price, uh, it's pretty impressive in my, in my opinion and pretty workable. Okay, so now we're at this point here. What you want to do is go to Genre. Now, this is just my personal experience. I found that the high gain and insane genre selections yield better tone results for high gain stuff. I don't know why. I don't like the metal modeling preset. Um, I don't know. It's it maybe it's the amp it picks. I don't know. It doesn't come out as good 
when I do these. I typically, I select insane or high gain. Either works. There's a lot of gain on this one, so I might just go with insane. The base one works okay. These work for other kinds of tones, crunch and things like that, but for like, this is a high gain metal tone. I don't like the metal channel. Maybe for something like uh, not high gainy, maybe something like, you know, in the 80s or something like that, metal might work, but um, for something modern, I prefer, I, I don't know why. I've just, I've matched hundreds of these tones at this point. I just know how the software responds. It responds better to these presets. Then click start capture. Now it's it's gonna ask for you to play your guitar, right? So I've got my Avenged Sevenfold signature guitar. <laughs> So it's registered your guitar now, and you're gonna put in the preset name. I'm just gonna say A7X. I've already matched this one. Uh, but you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so now I have a tone. I'm gonna unmute this here. Okay, so that's the tone we got pretty good. Um, but there's some tweaking I wanna do. So I'm gonna go into app amp match here. There's just way too much bottom end in this tone. It's pretty boomy. And yeah, I could EQ that out later, but I might just turn the bass down a bit. Now the blend control, you know, there's no overtones in this tone. What you might get when you use tone match for bias amp is you might get what, you know, you might get some overtones in your amp. And so what these overtones are is just the notes being played when it tried to match it, it kind of baked it into the modeling situation. And so what happens is you get these really strong overtones. You can EQ those out later, or you can turn down the blend knob. Now it's going to sound less like the tone, the, the less you turn down, the, or the more you turn down the blend knob. Let me unmute here. See, now it just sounds like a 5150, right? Now it sounds like the tone, but it's overall sounding pretty good. I turned down the bass a little bit. I usually don't mess with any of this stuff unless it's obvious, unless the gain, unless the tone is missing like a ton of gain or something. And I need to add, um, you know, uh, let's like some more gain here or another ch gain channel or something. I usually don't mess with this stuff. So here it is. Now we get to get to the fun part where we just kind of mess around with uh, making it look cool. So I have all my artwork here. I think it just needs a JPEG file. You can download it. If you go to like YouTube music, you can just save image as, and you can get the album image right there or you can download it off Google. Pretty easy, right? There we go. And so you can drag that around to finish that up. And then I go grill cloth. I usually pick one of these where uh, we can see a little bit better. That wasn't the best. Uh, let's clear that. Let's, see, let's try that again here. I need the death bat a little higher, but um, grill cloth. I'm gonna go with like this grill cloth here. And so I can see more of the album art. That's just a personal preference of mine. And then you can mess with these knobs and panels here and get it to look however you want. And so that's just a customization choice. And so you click apply. Now it has the amp and this is pretty good, but this is not the finished tone. This is not my, my final step. Um, all right, I'm going to save it as new. I'm going to do it as a high gain or I'm going to do it as metal. This actually doesn't matter. This is just the category you go to uh, when you finally uh, import the tone into Bias FX2. Metal save. So that's the category it's going to be in in Bias FX2. Waiting for, for it to save here. Okay, going to close that out. Now let's go to Bias FX2. You can pull up any preset here. I'm going to pull up this random preset. Uh, bombing plane um, and then we're gonna swap out our amp so let's go replace Let's go replace here. I'm gonna to go to bias amp two. Let's go to metal. And then I should see my A7X tone right there. It'll import the amp and the matching cab. That's important. You don't wanna swap out the cab because that's what's uh, EQ matching the tone basically, or 
uh, you know, profiling, modeling, whatever you know lingo you want to use for that. Um, so that's currently loading in here. Okay, now my amp is in here on mute. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff here just to finish off the tone. And so, sounds pretty good. I might add, this is what I typically do, uh, the 808 really lightly here, just to give it the, the clarity and the drive. And then I'll usually add an EQ on the back end, cutting out like the super high, high stuff. And then a little bit of a high pass. And there you go, that's pretty much how I do my tones. Sounds pretty good to me, and then you can just save it as a new preset. So that's how I go through my tone matching process. If you have a question, leave it in a comment down below. I'll probably do another video on the level three where there's like no guitar parts playing by itself, and that's sort of the the toughest one to do. I've done it before, but basically you have to use some like splitter software to split off the stem and do some other stuff. But that's how I do my tone match videos. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. What do you think about my process? How do you do it? And I'll see you guys in the next video.